So you have one of these, and you've got one of these. Why not combine their powers together to make some cool photos? I'm Lexi Savides from CNET, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you three creative ways to use your tablet as a photography light. The first is light painting, which produces light streaks and shapes in your image. Now you can use any light source for light painting, but an iPad or a tablet is really useful for this because of the large surface area. Find a dark room or even shoot outdoors at night, then grab a tripod and set your exposure on the camera. If you want tips on setting your camera exposure, check out the full text tutorial on CNET. You can display all sorts of images on your tablet screen to make shapes, spell out words, or paint blocks of colour in your long exposures. Some apps that make your life even easier include Softbox Pro for iPad and Softlight for Android. Softbox Pro even comes with a bunch of different shapes and colours so you can set the screen accordingly. Not only is a tablet great for light painting, but it's also a really useful backdrop. If you like taking macro or still life photos, then find an image to display on the screen and then place an object in front of it. Turn up the brightness and then use a shallow depth of field on your camera in order to slightly blur out the background. Remember to only use photos that you have the rights to use or Creative Commons images. You can also place a smaller object on top of your tablet and display an image so it looks like the floor is glowing. Now I'm going to show you a third way to use your tablet as a creative light source and that's as a softbox. You'll need a subject and possibly an assistant to help hold the tablet so you can get it in the right spot. There's plenty of apps available that can act as a DIY softbox like the ones I highlighted earlier, but it's just as easy to display a pure white image on the screen. Those are just three creative ways to use your tablet as a light source for your photos. If you want to check out more tips and tricks, find the how-to over at CNET.